Leah here with a GMAT verbal tip. Anytime a critical reasoning question brings up numbers, pay careful attention to what is actually being said. For instance, passages love to bring up percent changes in the passage and then numerical changes in the answer choices or vice versa. So say 450 patrons bought cinnamon rolls this week, up from 400 last week. Does that mean that there was a percent increase in the patrons who bought cinnamon rolls? No. It could be that the overall patron numbers were higher and the percent of cinnamon roll purchases stayed the same week over week. Your best tool in your critical reasoning toolbox is to understand the argument in front of you. So pay attention to each component Take your time and don't rush through little details and you'll be fine. Good luck.